Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I'm Chase and I will be your anchor for today's top story segment. We'll be recapping the Golden Globes from winners to iconic red carpet looks to the HFPA addressing the diverse elephant in the room. The 78th annual Golden Globes Awards took place on February 28th, completely virtual, put on by Hollywood's Foreign Press Association and hosted by Tina Fey and Emily Poehler. Let's start with the winners. The Crown cast took home Best Actor, Actress, Actress in Supporting Role, and Television Series and Drama. That's crazy, congratulations. Queen's Gambit took home the best television limited series and Anya Taylor-Joy took home best actress in television limited series for her role of Emma. Schitt's Creek took home two awards as well and Soul won best animated film and best original score. Chloe Zeho won the best director for Nomadland, which also won best motion picture. She is the second woman and first Asian woman to win that award. Congratulations, Chloe. Last but not least, Chad McBoswin, widow, gave his best actor and motion picture speech, and it was heart-wrenching to say the least. Rest in peace. Let's talk about some of the red carpet looks. We had lots of Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Valentino, Dior, Prada at the red carpet. But some of the looks that were causing the most buzz in the fashion world were Cynthia Irvo's bright green Valentino dress. I'm going to try to pull up a photo for you all. It's really pretty. Um, we also have Viola Davis, Sarah Paulson, Elle Fanning, Kate Hudson, and Anya Taylor Joy with the some of the best dressed looks. Here is a photo of Cynthia Irvo's dress. She looks absolutely stunning in this picture. Look at that bright green. We have, it's Valentino, very nice. She was actually at the event in Beverly Hills. Now, Bobcats, let's discuss the Golden Globe's lack of diversity. Their president, vice president, gave a speech on how they have their own work to do to include more black journalists, given that they don't even have one and the nominees kind of represent that jane fonda also used her accepting speech to shed some light on the subject after winning an award for her almost five decades of hard work and activism what do you think bobcats that's been all for your golden globes recap hope you enjoyed and have a great day bobcats bye